what's up guys back again with another video this episode we're going to be learning about um constructors and classes and stuff like that so um the last few episodes we learned about how to make a class and how to initialize one and then we learned the instance variables i think they're called and then we have the methods we learned last episode so it all fits together perfectly and this will also fit in there and allow you to make classes really really quite easier than you did before so anyway let's get started we're going to make a new class it's going to be class um class zebra because why not and then inside class zebra we're gonna have to give it some you know variables um so string name so it has to have a name then int age the zebra has to have an age and then we'll have uh we'll just have those okay and so yeah so um we're gonna have a method here void talk and we're gonna say i don't know what, what kind of sound does a freaking zebra make oh i don't fucking know uh, I get. I was trying to make a zebra sound. That was really bad. But anyway, you know what? I'm gonna look it up. Zebra. That was a horrible impression. Here we go. How the? I don't even. I can't do that. Anyway, so uh, we're gonna make. Um... There we go. That's perfect. Oh, crap. And I am... Okay, so, yeah, whenever we call the talk method, it'll print all that crap out. So let's go ahead and make our, our zebra. We'll make him zebra... Uh, zebra one equals new zebra. And there we go. So we should be able to run this, and nothing will happen happen because we didn't do anything yet. All we did was initialize a new object here, which is all good. So um, yeah. So let's try running um, zebra one dot talk. So the method that we just created, right? And it should put this out, but we're gonna have a little bit of a problem. It's gonna fill it with null and zero. And that's a problem because we don't want it to say that. That doesn't even make sense. Um, so, of course, we can just do this every time we make a new zebra name equals, you know, like Bob or something like that. And then um, age equals, you know, it's 21 years old. Oh, sorry, wrong thing. Zebra one dot uh, name and then zebra one dot age. So let's try running it now and it'll work perfectly because we actually set it to be those things. So yeah, now it works. So zebra noise is hi, my name is Bob and I'm 21 years old. So that makes sense, right? Um, and this can get pretty tedious though. That's the problem. Every time you make a new zebra, you're gonna have to fill this crap out. And imagine there's not only two variables. This is useful for when you have like a bunch of variables, you know? So what the solution around that is called constructors. Um, and it's not even just for this. It's just um, what a constructor is. It's a piece of code that's run every time you make a new object like here. We're making a new object, right? So as soon as this is made, it'll call the zebra constructor and then it'll do whatever you want to do. So let's go ahead and make that. Let's try that. So zebra, so it's gonna be the same name as the class. And then you have to have, you know, the parameter uh, parentheses, right? And then that's it, that's the constructor right here. So just make a little note for yourself, constructors, just constructor, I guess. And then here you can have whatever you want. So we'll set out um, making a new zebra. So now, as soon as this is run here, it'll do that, making a new zebra, zebra noises, you know. So that is pretty cool. And so to get around this little problem, like I talked about, we could set um, every zebra had to have a default age or name, but it won't make sense if they all have the same name. So I'm just going to set them all to um, zebra. I mean, just you don't have to have zebra one on here, of course, because it's inside the template class. So zebra equals one. So that's the default age we'll have. So right here, it's still going to say. 21 right because we manually set it to be 21 after this is initialized but right here it's one because we're calling it you know we're calling the constructor which sets it to one automatically so let's get rid of this and then it won't be 21 because we're not manually setting it to be something right after a constructor so yeah that makes sense um so pretty cool so let's make another little um uh method here of course this method will be age up 
So when it's run, it'll just do age plus plus, you know, it'll increment it, increment it by one. Okay, so it has the same thing, right? And we'll set out, uh, I am now age, and we'll just leave it like that. Oh yeah, we didn't call it yet, so we need to call it. So age up, oh no, zebra one dot age up. Oopsie daisy. Okay, now run that. So making a new zebra, zebra knows is hi, my name is Bob, and I'm one years old, and then he says I am now two. So let's try running talk again, zebra one talk and then it says he is two years old so anyway I mean I'm straying away from the constructors but the point is with a constructor method you can just run any piece of code as soon as a new object is created this goes for every object that you create as soon as you run this whether it be zebra one zebra two zebra three they'll all run as soon as they're made so that's pretty awesome and um, we can do a bunch of things for that right so let's say that we don't want to have to do uh, Bob every time right but first, let's um, let's just copy this a few times, two times. So we'll have multiple zebras, right? Okay. So I mean, already it's kind of tedious, you know. So yeah, that's painful. So three, 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 three. Uh, what's the problem here? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. There we go. So now we have three uh, zebras, and we'll give them all names. Terry and then George. Okay, I spelled George wrong, but oh well. So yeah, anyway, we have three um, zebras and they all do the same crap over and over and over. So let's get rid of the, um, this extra stuff here so they'll just talk whenever they're made. I mean, I, we could, uh, maybe, can we run a, let's see. Actually, yeah, let's do that. We can, um, by the way, I forgot to tell you this. Whenever you create a method, it can be used anywhere in your code. Um, like, I mean, as if, like, pretend this was up here. It was still, you know, like, it works anywhere. <laughs> Basically, you don't have to be up. This doesn't have to be up here, is what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, we can run this as soon as this uh, is run. So, we don't even need this anymore if we're just going to con construct it like that. So, that's pretty cool. So, it says making new zebra. Then you get that over and over but you have a problem because it doesn't do George you know like or Terry or Bob that's because we're setting it after we construct it so um, we can fix that easily um, by just um, taking this out of there and then putting it down here again or just running it again really so zebra three uh, yeah we'll just do one whatever so now we have Bob and he's one years old and yeah. But anyway, that's the kind of stupid, but there's an easy way to do this. This is called um, parameter cons parameterized constructors. I can't say the word. Parameterized constructors. There we go. So anyway, this is pretty much exactly like you would use a parameter in a method because this is a method. So you just create the methods up here. I mean the parameters. So zebra, um, String name int age. So now we don't even need these, of course, like we discussed last time. Um, actually, we do because we have to, you know, set them. Uh, we're using them in here and stuff like that. But anyway, so yeah, so we can do stuff here. We could say that, um, hmm, so we have name and age, right? So then we create age and then, uh, Actually, we'll give them different names because these will conflict if we try and set them. So let's try this. Um, it doesn't even matter what the parameter name is, right? You know, so like it doesn't matter what I'm doing right here. This won't affect anything else. So what I'm doing here, every time we, uh, let's get rid of all this. Every time we create a new object, it'll ask for these parameters, and then we can use them how we want to use them inside the constructor. So that's pretty cool. So then we could set defaults for each of our zebras really fast. So let's try that. So name equals param name. Oops, param name. There we go. And we can likewise do the same thing for age. Age equals param age. So this, if this is a little confusing here, um, just look at it. Um, we can see that we're creating two objects um, inside of our class, right? And then right here, every time we call the constructor, 
it's just um, asking for defaults and then it's setting them to equal that basically. So let me show you. It'd be better if I showed you, right? And we don't need this because this will override this one, right? So yeah, so let's create a new um, zebra here. So zebra blah 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 equals new zebra. And then right here, it asks for parameters like we did with our methods. So we can say um, we want our zebra to be named, we need a string, right? So we want our zebra to be named um, Gary and then give him an age of 65. So exactly what we want. Okay, so let's run that and see what happens. So it actually does stuff because it's calling our constructor here. So it's asking for our parameters here and it did exactly what we want them. So let's test it out. Let's see if it works. Actually, we already know it works because it used them inside of here. But that's just inside of the constructor it worked. So let's try testing and see if it works outside of the constructor. So yeah, and then dot talk. Oh no, we'll just do call it where I'll put the name. So it's out dot name. So if we output the name, it should get Gary because that's what we set it to as soon as we made it. So that's pretty cool. We we have now uh, default values for our um, objects, and that's very useful. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, leave a like. If you wish to subscribe, do that because I'll be posting more videos and trying to help you guys. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll help you. And peace.